Okay. Okay. Um, that sounds good to me. I'm just trying to share our stream around. There's a, it's the looping now. Yeah, the, the, because it's, it's, it's getting the uh, stream. Mm -hmm. So we might. Oh, so the computer's picking up the stream? Yeah, the computer's picking up the stream. I can't tell if that's us or us. Go ahead and mute it. Yeah. It's right now with your phone. She's on top of stairs. We're streaming. Can you hear anything possibly? That is our audio. Oh, that, that's, so this is our audio, so we don't have to worry about. Okay, that's good. As long as it's coming through on the OBS. Okay, I would say go ahead and jump in on there and spectating. Okay. Got her. And what I want you to do is I do want you to practice the um, controlling the camera. Okay. Um, try to get used to it. <laughs> that way I can watch them and the stream yeah, make sure everything's right. going well. Okay. Hold on, bro. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Be careful. Welcome to Route 66 as the Barons once again begin to crush their enemies. Looks like they're escorting the... Uh, ex Escorting the payload again. Same layout as last time. Zarya, Mercy, Widowmaker. Let's see if there's any differences. Oh, looks like their ba Baptiste seems to have taken out their Widowmaker. But will that matter against the Barons? Well, if we have Dasher switching it up, playing as Doomfist, a melee-based hero. Quite the incredible, uh, quite the incredible thing the uh, incredible Doomfist player is. Looks like everyone has surrounded the payload. It's a big thing. All oh, the enemy diva has started her ultimate. <sighs> Looks like she hasn't gotten anybody with it though. The payload is officially moving. The barons surround it like a horde of wasp. Can nothing break through them? Widowmaker once again taking out quick snipes against the enemy team. Our Doomfist has flanked around, hitting the enemies from behind, and our forces have broken in. The payload is officially moving to the next checkpoint. Lucio providing critical healing to our team right now. As Zarya pushes the line, having her ultimate charge, being ready to strike at any moment. She fires the ultimate. Looks like Roadhog is coming in to deal some serious damage. And they do. Their diva is taking out. Now the little baby that was in the mech suit is officially gone. And they're having to deal with them. Their enemy tracer is being a little aggravating, but it looks like nothing can still stop the barons. As we cut to our road hog, taking out the enemy sigma shot by shot. Diva is blocking out his shots, but unfortunately, is that really going to matter against our team? Roadhog pulls in soldier, shoots him dead. It's incredible. Rokhod heals himself. Rokhod has his ultimate ready. Destroys Sigma's barrier, and it's incredible. He's dealing so much damage. Literally flying in the air as the point strikes down. Ready to fire again. Healing himself. It's insane what the Rokhod is doing. Lucio catching up, getting ready to heal his teammates. Unfortunately, it looks like someone's taking someone out. Doomfist flying around the map, getting ready to strike out of whatever he can. Zips around. Deals damage. Widowmaker coming back. Sinking around... Sneaking around, seeing what she needs to do as she catches up to her allies. Let's see what she. Let's see how she's doing. Okay, he's ready to take a perfect shot. Dealing critical damage to that shield. Their soldier seems to uh, pass by a dead teammate right now, but the mercy has been taken out. Let's see how she's doing back here. Doomfist in the back lines again. Looks like they've actually held off the barons pretty well, but I have a feeling in the end we'll come out on top. Widowmaker, getting ready to sneak in from behind, right, getting ready to take out anything standing in our team's way, using her ultimate to see through the walls as she deals damage, not necessarily killing them, but getting them weak enough so that way the rest of her teammate can take them out for her. Next up we have our Mercy. She's back at it again. Begins to fly to heal her teammates, making sure everybody is staying on top of it. Diva has activated her ultimate. It's about to explode. And she's able to take out some of our Barons, including our Mercy with her ultimate. All right. 
A Widowmaker still doing damage, doing an incredible nice. shot with that. Arzaria able to take out so their soldier. Doomfist charging in. That's the point. Finally, is still contested. And they're still fighting over it. Inches, literal inches until victory. And the Barons take it again. Okay. Um, I think it's your information eventually about like the players, so where you can talk about who everyone was. Mm -hmm. Um, try to see if you can fill in conversation about it. Okay. <laughs> Looks like this is an incredible play of the game. Before Widowmaker doing an insane amount of damage, she's a. This game is incredibly based on teamwork. You don't just have to be good at this game, you have to be good at understanding your other teammates. You see the heroes they selected, Doomfist, Roadhog, Zarya, Mercy, the Angel. They're all in a way a mathematical problem in which they want to get the answer, how do I absolutely crush the enemy team? And that's exactly what they've been doing for these past few matches. Our Barons are truly incredible. Out of curiosity, um, for for now, can I bounce off of you as someone as someone just since you since you're already clicking, mm -hmm. like uh, talking to each other? Yeah, talking just just for like a little bit at least. Yeah, yeah, to see just to see how that would work out. Lost a viewer. Oh no, we lost a viewer. So Peter, you're. Um, so we're going to be getting a um, mm -hmm. layout. Okay. Uh, trying to think of the word, the cover for the stream that'll have all of our. Um, Social media links are Facebook, Insta I think Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Okay. Um, it'll have our Twitch on here as well. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to try to set up, I think, a Facebook page uh, put, and put videos on our YouTube page. Right. So we're going to try to get a lot of more professional. Okay. Um, our, our media um, marketing team is actually designing the layout for us. So, um, okay. It'll be cool. All right. Um, what other questions do you have? Uh, when did you start playing Overwatch, Peter? I started playing Overwatch about two years ago. Um, a friend of mine, we'd, we'd play together and we uh, <laughs> played as much as we can over in the evenings. Right. Uh, so, when you were setting out to make an esports team, did you actively go out to recruit members or did they come to you? We actively went out, uh, reached out to a lot of high schools across Georgia, across the United States. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple of recruitment sites that people use for other sports, for baseball, soccer, that also have divisions for esports now as well. So we could actively look out and email and reach out to these people through those websites the same way coaches would for other sports. Now, uh, our wrestling team and various other basketball volleyball, they use uh, the NIA to uh, organize their events. What, so, what uh, organization is currently doing the uh, Bruton Parker electro uh, electronic sports events? Um, we're part of the NACE uh, community. It's the <laughs> National Association for Collegiate Esports. Mm -hmm. It's the equivalent of in the NAIA. Mm -hmm. um, for our other sports, um, collection of colleges with their divisions and um, different teams all partnering together to make this a uh, thing that we're actually doing. All right, right, right. <laughs> that was an incredible. That was our esports coach, Peter Thompson. Incredible man, vice president of the local fraternity here on campus. It's truly insane all the amount of things this man has done. I'll move the mic a little closer. Right. Yes, I can. There we go. That might be a little better. Yeah. And move the mask over here. Yes. We'll take that swap over. Yeah. That sounds good. I got all the girls on there. I got all the We need to get better at catching up with them. Yeah. Hey, those behind you, uh, Oh, looks like our team is closer to the point. If they can get this to 100%, they will have a victory. So, let me ask you this, Peter. With what you're seeing right now, the way our team looks to be uh, in the moment, whenever they get defended, they seem to be clustered. Is that always a good thing to have in Overwatch, to have a cluster team? Or if you were them, would you try and spread them out as much as you could? 
it might not always be a good thing to be clustered, but the way they're clustering is a good thing. Right. They're keeping their tanks, these two people, Zarya and Roadhog, up at the front of the team. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that can take the most damage and survive. Mm -hmm. And they have their damage players. Oh and, well, this is their support, oh keeping God, him up near the tanks, keeping them alive, keeping them moving fast. Mm -hmm. Mercy, let's see if I can find Mercy. Mm -hmm. Mercy they have here, making sure everybody stays alive, keeping the tanks at full health, so the tanks can stay at the front, right. take up the damage, get healed, and stay alive. Right. And then they have some of their damage here, um, staying in the back of it, uh, shooting from a distance, keeping that damage going in without receiving any, because as you can see, he only has 200 health. But Roadhog has 600 when he's right. at full health. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a good job with their positioning, keeping the ones that can't take damage at the front and those that can't at the back. Okay. That's basic Overwatch strategy. So what would be something more advanced that you've actually seen this team do? I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. As we'll we, find as out. As we gain more experience, more gameplay, we will see more better plays coming through. Okay. All right. Looks like Dasher is playing Symmetra. Now, for those at home, could you explain like a, li a little bit about each of these characters? I think I think we'll take a just turn uh, turns a bit. But these characters not only have, of course, gameplay that are different, but they even have a little bit of lore to them as well. This is not just a game in which, like football, you just have the rules. This game has a little bit of a story as well. So, is there any particular character that you enjoy, not necessarily to play as, but a character's story you also enjoy? <laughs> Oh, you don't know any of the stories? No, I haven't actually looked into any of the stories. You know, I gotta be honest, I kind of like the super soldier background of Soldier 76. I have I looked a little bit into the Overwatch lore, and uh, if I'm correct, Australia is a post-apocalypse in the Overwatch universe. Is it? It is. But, you know, I think that's a little inaccurate since everything's a post-apocalypse now. It is. <laughs> Looks like BPC takes the win again. First round. Oh, it's first round. So it looks like they made a switch. Yeah. So it looks like we would normally be an Orissa switched off to a Winston. What do you think their strategy is going to be this time? Their strategy now is to rush in, uh, spread their team out so that their supports can't keep them alive. Winston's biggest um, advantage is that he can jump into the other team and spread them out so and cause chaos. So I think that's what their goal here is. To okay. That is an incredible jump. Dang. I forgot how far Winston could actually jump. It's insane. Now, for also those at home, not Winston can't just only do this. He also had, look at that electric gun and dome shield. He's able to provide protection for his teammates and just aggravate the enemy team. Lucio, again, providing critical heals. Oh, their diva able to block some of their bullets with her defensive matrix. But Zarya pops in. It takes a little bit of damage. She gets, a, she gets the heals from Mercy, and then Winston is back out of the end. They're able to cluster back on the point. So it seems that their strategy was originally to aggravate the team as much as they could, having themselves spread out. Would you say that they're, that they're doing that successfully right now? Yes, I would. They're keeping the team off the point, keeping mm -hmm. themselves on the point. They're making sure the team is focused on their front line, on their Winston. As you see, he's just causing oh, mass hysteria. Like Look at that with his ultimate slapping them around like they're children. He's making sure they're not in the building, not near the point, so that they can't get there, they can't do anything. Okay, it he looks might like be taking damage, but he's getting the job done. Yeah, right it looks like they've pushed them back so far that they're actually back in their normal spawn where they would show up before actually going into the point. So, at this point, do you think of, of them staying right here and keeping them held back is more is better than having the mo most of them still be on the point and capture it faster? Oh, it looks like our Junkrat has been taken out, though. Oh, for sure. This is definitely a better position positioning for them, because even if they all do go and die, the team's going to have to take time to get back to the point. Right. So they're in a good position to make a mistake huh. at this point. All right. Oh, it looks like multiple people need healing, and Lucio is going to be able to provide that for them. And they're still on the point. You know, the enemy team hasn't really gotten to that point now, have they? They haven't touched it once. As you can see, they're still at 0%. Dang. Oh, our, our Junkrat looks like he has his ultimate ready. 
a explosive tire that he is able to control. It's incredible. He lays down a trap, getting ready for anyone to walk in so he can smack with a grenade. Lucio provides an ultimate, boosting everybody's health as they are able to take out the enemy tanks with ease. Look at that. Oh. Zorio smacking people, looking like she's able to take out Lucio, and then Winston again, right at the front lines, able to electrocute oh, people to death as they win! Let's go! <laughs> what a victory. There we go. And here we have a play of the game where the uh, designers made it so that uh, after the game we could see the best play that was done that game. And here we have Junkrat. Um, uh, this is the Junkrat of what looks to be the enemy, enemy team. team. Yes. So let me ask you this. What role do you think is the most... Of course, they're all incredibly important, but what role do you feel is, if, uh, is the most important role to feel within the Overwatch team? A damage, a tank, or uh, a support class? Like I would say that there's not any role that's over or more important than any others. Each one, they have, we have two people in each role, each mm -hmm. uh, keeping a balance within the team so mm -hmm. that we have two people staying at the front, taking all the damage, two people dealing a lot of damage, and two people keeping everyone alive. Right. There's no one role that... The whole team would fall apart. It's just one role was not functioning at its full capacity. Okay. So it looks like now we're in between games. So. Oh dear. So our current players are taking time to warm up, collect their thoughts, and remind themselves. The real Overwatch was the friends they made along the way. And truth be told, this team, this team seems to be very close, both literally in-game with their strategies and in real life. They are a wonderful team. So, the other thing I've noticed when watching them is that they have uh, specific heroes that they prefer to play as. If I'm correct, those are mains? Yes, they do. Each person has a, a <laughs> one hero that they probably practiced more, played more, had more experience with. Um, the one that they're best at, and usually that's referred to as a main, um, mm -hmm. just for shorthand, a main champion. Right. So when we, when we see players often switch up our strategy, how, how often will we see players go from, say, a tank to a tank role or a tank to a support role or vice versa? Um, it depends on the player. Um, we have a couple of them that have been uh, moving around. This past week, our main focus has been finding the main role that each person is going to perform best at and right. getting them into that. So all week, they've been playing different roles across the whole team, finding that sweet spot for the team. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. I literally never played <clears throat> How do you how are you going to feel about the scrimmage tonight? I think we have a good shot at it. You think you have a good shot at it? Who's our scrimmage against? Um, it's just a team of players, a team of friends who um, wanted to uh, find a good game to play tonight. Hey, that's very simple. Oh, well, I can tell you this. They'll have a good game for sure. So can you give us a little bit of background of each of our players? Um, I believe everyone is, is coming here from Georgia. I believe we do have a, one or two people from Florida. Um, most of our team is just out of high school um, right. in their freshman year here at the school. Um, we have a couple people who have been on the track team, been on the wrestling team. Right. Um, people from all different walks of life, cultures. Um, they're very diverse team is what you're A very diverse team of people just like who a diverse team all of come together. Yeah. All coming together to enjoy playing a game together and taking it to a competitive level. Mm -hmm. So here we have a Winston, Orissa, Karma, Ash, Lucio. And Ooh, it's Ash. I haven't seen them pull out Ash yet. Is that yes. our Widowmaker who would also be playing as Ash? It is. Okay. Wow. All right. Oh, it looks like the Winston is about to pounce on them. Playing around a little bit with the with our mercy. Orissa getting ready to drop her shield. Lucio providing speed while running around the statue like a boss. Such a show off. Such a show off. 
No, I know, I know that Lucio player in real life, and I gotta say, that's not like him in real life. I think he truly embodies the character of Lucio when playing him, though. It looks like things have already started. Lucio once again providing heals as they are forcing the enemy to go down this choke point. The enemy Sigma has placed down a couple barriers. It's only able to go so far and provide so much protection. Winston about to jump in, ready to electrocute the enemy team, but needs to go back in order to support his friends. Looks like Arissa is still providing firepower and protection. Oh, the enemy has a, has a Winston as well, but their Sigma is ultimately defeated by our team. Winston jumps in, provides electricity, stunning everybody with his incredible skills. And Lucio still providing the healing. Symmetra giving excellent damage as Ash reloads to prepare her next job. Symmetra laying down some turrets. She is stunned by the enemy team. But they're able to take down their Sigma. Looks like our Winston has also been taken down. Ash has gone against Ash. Mer their Mercy has revived their Sigma. Zion has revived our Winston. And it looks like we are pushing them back Winston's again as we Winston's fight on. each other in a literal tavern brawl. Winston has activated his ultimate raid to slap people around again. Look at him jumping around. Looks like he literally just hit the other person, the other Ash. Winston is providing an incredible front line, wouldn't you say? I would. He ha definitely has. Even when they have come in through that small room on the other side, mm -hmm. he made sure to get in there, cause the chaos, push them back. Right. Keeping them from getting anywhere near the point so far. Right. Now, this is an interesting thing that Symmetra is doing here. shes I don't even think she's just using has her turrets as a defense mechanism, but if I'm correct, she's using that so that way when she gets some, what is known as a hit marker, when she gets the hit marker, she's able to register. Look at this incredible play! Oh, do it! Just teamwork! Ultimates! Able to collide so that way they can eventually crush the enemy! The enemy Ash has copied their Winston and... I'm sorry, enemy Echo has copied their Winston. But they are able to still hold the team back. It's insane what the Barons are able to do. But but yes, a, um, to go back on before that... Right wild fight no, she's definitely she's setting up these turrets in a way so that the enemy team won't know where they are until it's too late they've passed the line and they get targeted by them right looks like defense are, oh looks like they've entered the tavern again it's another all-out tavern brawl winston is on the ultimate beating up slapping around their sigma and their reinhardt able to throw people around jumping around electri electrifying the competition Oh, our wrist has been pushed back, though. It looks like the enemy has made a slightly successful push, but can anything really, truly defeat the Barons in this situation as our Symmetra is taking out... Oh, looks like we have, another, we have another scenario with the other Winston. Oh, Lucio has an ultimate. Question is, will he use it? Orissa providing critical cover fire for everyone. Taking out the enemy, Mercy as she flies around, tries to heal their enemy, but Winston, once again, coming in clutch, able to take out and electrify any competition. Looks like the enemy has also chosen on Winston. Winston jumps back, ready to defend whatever he needs to defend. The enemy looks like they've copied their... Oh, enemy has created, has created, used their ultimate. Uh, our team has now used their ultimate, providing an extra bit of health. Winston, able to go full rage mode, once again, slapping everybody around like their children. It's incredible. Ash is able to do a little bit of damage to their Winston, but in the end, it really doesn't matter now, does it? The Orissa has let down a, her ultimate, giving her other team an incredible amount of damage. And Lucio begins to heal the Reinhardt, is able to make jets fly out of his hammer, making it so that he's able to do damage to our team, but... They're still in that choke point, and that's the main thing that our team is focused on right now. Making sure that the only way our enemies can go is through them. They are essentially creating a human wall of pure bullets. And as you can see right there, uh, right beside our Arissa was a Bob. That is the ultimate from our uh, player, from our Ash player, It's My World. Alright, so it looks like once again, placing up shields, making sure the enemy is still in that choke. But it sounds like they're falling back now at this point. Oh, looks like they've taken out members of our enemy team with the Junkrat. 
Oh! And it looks like the enemy has officially landed on the point, but it's contested. There is still time for our, for our Barons to take back the point, take what is rightfully theirs, and continue the fight. But they go into overtime defending the point as the enemy team gets the payload. So, I have to ask, what do you think the Barons did wrong right here? I think they were just... Um I don't know. You they don't know. Yet. They had them in the choke point. I think they fell back, let the team get too close to them, right. spread out too much, and allowed themselves to get picked off one by one. Right. <laughs> it looks like, if I'm correct, It's My World has switched back to Widowmaker. Am I correct on that? He has. Yes, he has. All right. They have tried to, they've assessed the situation, saw what went wrong, yeah. tried to make some corrections, and also realizing they're in a different part of the map. They can't right. use the same strategy anymore. Right. And that's, that's really the thing with Overwatch. Not everything works all the time. It's truly a balancing act. What they're essentially doing is like plays in a football. We can't run 32 belly G, so now we oh, gotta nice. run 64 jet or something like that. But instead of that, they're switching up their heroes, pushing the enemy team back to where they belong as Winston once again slaps them around. It's incredible, electrifying them, seeing what he needs to be done, attacking their Hammond as Orissa defends the point. Oh, all right, Lucio was trapped by their Junkrat and that's a shame right there. But he's brought back by our mercy. Widowmaker. What a snipe. What a snipe. Mercy flying around, providing healing. Widowmaker doing damage. So is Symmetra. As our Lucio is providing, once again, critical healing at this moment. Oh, but the Reinhardt has slapped him just a, just a bit and bit and bit by that hammer. But the Reinhardt is slowly losing health, if I'm correct. The Reinhardt is officially down now. Winston is on the point, ready to defend it. If a cluster of enemy gets around Winston, they're going to have serious trouble dealing with his, his Tesla cannon. Am I correct? They are. <laughs> right. This is the first team that I've seen so far in this live stream that has actually given the Barons a little bit of trouble. But, I mean, they still have a full minute to go around, and they are currently on that point. Oh, looks like Winston once again jumping to the back, providing as many problems as he possibly can, taking out their Mercy as Orissa takes out their Reinhardt as well. The ultimate is up. Another ultimate from Winston, able to slap them around again, but unfortunately Winston is trapped by their Junkrat, able to see what's going on. Lucio to riding heels, and unfortunately Winston loses his ultimate in the process, but Winston is now stunned. So would you, would you say so far they successfully handled the fact that they weren't able to defend that point with how they're defending this now? They've handled it very well, taking it all the way back down to 10 seconds. Yeah. Um, with, so now at this point, all they have to do is keep the enemy off the point right, for at least like another, another yeah. five seconds. Mm -hmm. So if they stay on the point, if I'm correct, right, they go into overtime. They go into overtime. So what yeah. the enemy needs to do now is to stay on the point as much as they can because as soon as they get off that point it's going to cause a massive problem and that's what the barons really need to try and do is to get they don't just need to hold the enemy back anymore they need to get them off the point and it looks like in the in the moment in their final hour the enemy has been able to cluster around that cart and because they're in a cluster this is also providing a difficult situation for our barons as, as all their heroes are able to collide and do as much damage as they need to do but they took them off they claim the victory nothing can stop us hey we got a comment what's our comment dude Get them, boys. They sure will. They sure will. Thank you, Bulldog fan, 1998. So I have to ask. If you went, if uh, the the PPC Barons win this scrimmage, hey, does it let you go uh, like first person? Uh, it's all third person. It's all third person. Not at all. I swear there's a. Unless you know a different way to do it. Did you press space? 
I can try it. Our players might be about three times as smart as I am. It's either press, it's either press face or click. Right click and left click switch between different players. So then it's space. Yeah. We'll try it. First person is way better than third person. Yeah. Because they're actually going to see what they're doing, yeah? Yeah. Plus, it's better for clips. Not like you get the holes. You, who's ever been playing Widowmaker, uh, It's My World, has been getting some serious clips. They're in the middle, Kenley. Yeah, Kenley. Thank you. So I gotta ask, if you do win this scrimmage, how do you, how do you plan on celebrating your victory? More practice. More practice? <laughs> practice makes perfect, and it's a fun game, too. Okay. No, because every time I hear... So I guess it's his own reward. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like, you go with it, you're automatically bad. Uh, we get a rest of this, will be good. Gosh, it's on tank, dude. Nice, and we have somewhere to hack them? Oh, yeah, this is SPC. SPC. Oh, SPC. Yeah. Hey, are you guys SPC? Spectating yeah. Room Parker, probably. probably. Yeah. Yeti. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be Yeti since I'm using my account. Yeti Zep one. So let's see. Space bar. Oh. We hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you got a first person. Yep. There we go. Oh, it looks like Dasher is playing a different hero this time. Yeah. So Sweet. right now we have a Winston or Rissa. I don't uh, think that's Karma. It's not that's Sombra. Sombra, mm -hmm. um, Widowmaker, Lucio, and Mercy. Now, if I'm correct, Sombra is able to turn invisible, hack into things, and use a small submachine gun to able to slowly deal am damage to enemies. But when she's able to hack into them, she's able to turn off certain abilities. She is. She's able to hack the uh, mm -hmm. health potions around the map that they're able to go to heal up. She's right. able to hack them and get rid of their abilities or their ultimates for a time, mm -hmm. short amount of time. So with, with, she is. So with them using uh, Sombra, what do you think their plan is with this? Their plan is to keep uh, control of the resources, and if they notice that they're getting close to being able to use ultimate, shut that down. Right. Uh, if they notice some health across the map, shut that down so they can't get to heal mm -hmm. up and get back. The oh, enemy team seems to be incredibly aggressive this time. How do you think the Barons are going to be able to handle that? I think they will. They have some good solid tanks. They have a tank that focuses on shield and a tank, and still, again, the Winston focuses right. on separating the enemy team. Ooh, I've noticed that this time the enemy has a May. What she's able to do is to create these large ice falls and even freeze enemy players. With the current hero setup, how do you think they're going to deal with that May? Or do you think that May would even cause problems to the Barons at all? I don't think she would cause many problems to them. Right. Junkrat, able to cause explosions, able to throw grenades all over the place, eliminating their Ana, a sniper which has the ability to heal. Looks like our Sombra is able to hack their Widowmaker, and the Widowmaker is able to be taken out. There goes Winston again, falling, jumping straight into enemy lines, hunting down our Reinhardt, bringing him down to half out. Sombra sneaks around the map, hides on the point. Throws a teleporter disc with this at any point, as long as she presses the E key, she's able to instantly jump to that location. Junkrat explodes himself up to the top of the roof, and they're able to collide with the enemy team right in this garage area. It's insane what the, what the BPC team is able to do, especially with all the map knowledge that they have. Now, how, would you, how complicated could you say this map specifically is? This map, I would say, is one of the more complicated ones. There are so many different rooms and buildings that have to navigate around that right. uh, somebody can go and hide in a room and then whenever you turn the corner, not know that they were there and there's two or three people there ready to catch you off guard. It looks like the BPC team has multiple ultimates ready to go. Do you think we're about to see something crazy? I think we're about to see something crazy. I think... I give it about... 30 seconds, we see something really insane. But look at what's already happening right now. Everybody is clustered on the point. Mercy is providing multiple heals. Sombra able to go around, firing against the enemies, able to take down her abilities with that hack. Is this not insane? And we're about to see something crazy. It's going down for real. As everybody is dealing damage, able to get an incredible. Look at the enemy team almost completely wiped by the Barons. Hanzo is able to fire their ultimate. Oh! 
and he's but it, he's able to take out only some of our team one of our teammates. We Looks saw like four or five ultimates used all right there to make a solid play, knocking almost everyone down, moving their point objective closer to that goal. This is the thing that separates Overwatch from so many other games. You don't have just have to have timing with yourself and with your aiming. You have to have timing with your teammates. That's why practice is so important in this game. Looks like Winston is able. Oh, he's been stunned by the Reinhardt. Oh, he is he in some serious trouble, but he's able to escape, thankfully. Winston able to take out the Reinhardt. Oh, taking taking out Ana as well. Looks like Dasher sneaking around with Sombra, trying to possibly scout out where enemies could be. The question is, what's his actual plan? What's he trying to do? Mercy flying around, providing critical healing as our Winston is slowly draining his health, fighting back the enemy team. Sombra able to hack into her health point. Winston going into an ultimate, smacking people around again and again and again. It's insane how much our, this Winston actually uses his ultimate. Now I also need to ask, so how are ultimates formed, right? We know some are formed by dealing damage, some are formed by taking damage, all depending on the player character, but what's what's the general thing that decides when you have an ultimate? It looks like we're about to have another incredible play. That worked, though. Wind has gone. Well, yeah, Just that, that, that. This Winston is incredible. Here in the room, I hear one player start mentioning that there's a Widow sniping up still in the corner, still alive, but at the same time, I'm seeing the Winston jump up there, knock him out, taking him down. It's, it, what you hear right there is just pure, 100% incredible communication oh, no, no, no. on our VPC bear. Winston in the back, able to take out so many people, jumping around, electrifying the enemy team. It's insane. He's taking out the Widowmaker again. The Oh no, my bad, not the Widowmaker, the uh, the baby diva. It's insane what they're doing right here. Reinhardt pulls out an ultimate, but is ultimately taken out. Our barons are bringing back the point. They are pushing it, pushing it, pushing it as much as they can. Looks like their Farah is hacked in. The Farah is out. Diva pulls out her ultimate. Could you see it? And it's a victory! Dasher with the play of the game. So, what decides a play of the game in Overwatch? Because this is not selected by me or you. This is actually programmed into the game. So what does Blizzard, the creators of this, use to decide what a play of the game is? A lot of times it's kills um, all at once. Uh, a play that will decide the winning fate of the game. How mm -hmm. quickly um, all kills all in an amount of time. Mm -hmm. I would say that... You're correct. That, uh, that definitely does seem reasonable. Now, I would also have to ask, uh, what role in, in Overwatch do you think is uh, the least, I would say, looked at? In, in, in games like football, and there, there's something called the defensive line, but they don't get talked about as much as, say, your quarterback does because they're having to take the blunt of everything, and they can't do the flashy stuff. So what would you say is so vitally important to Overwatch but doesn't get all the attention that it deserves? I would give that to the support role. Right. You have the tanks in there at the front line taking all the damage, mm -hmm. surviving some of the most vicious attacks. Right. You have the um, damage dealers up there dealing all the damage, getting the coolest sniper shots, getting the coolest attacks. Mm -hmm. The support healing the people. They're just as vital to the team, but sometimes you can have to not as cool players. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Currently they're all in queue, it looks like. How long until we actually have our official scrimmage match? We're about 30 minutes out from the match. Hey. How many viewers are we looking at right now? Right now we're looking at two viewers. Two viewers? Oh, did some leave? Some did we? That's a shame that they're gonna miss this. So, what do you think the future so far of the BPC esports program is going to be? I know that you plan on expanding more games to see what all, uh, everything else you guys can conquer in this area. 
So what's the general plan? I've, y'all have a Rocket League team at the moment. You're building a League of Legends team. Where? What's next? Um, whatever the um, players decide, whatever mm -hmm. seniors in high school wanting to come out and play, whatever the games they're playing at the moment, mm -hmm. it's all decided by the players. We can want to build a team, but if there's not people who want to play it, it doesn't matter. Right. We're looking right. at a Super Smash Bros. team in the future. Um, I know a lot of people have been playing that, wanting to do some stuff with that. Okay. So the next question I have is, are there Overwatch players also in Rocket League, or are there Rocket League players also in Overwatch? We do have some players that are um, go back and forth. Um, let's see, I don't have them here on the screen now, but Zion is one of those players. Zion? So is he is he also with Overwatch? Well, he's also with Rocket League, my bad. He is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how, how much growth do you expect the BPC eSports program to have? A lot of our other sports have around 50 members or so to their, to their name. And at the moment, Overwatch is only a six-man six team. Yes, right now we have 10 people across our whole eSports division, six people in Overwatch. But I expect it to be moving even faster and growing faster than almost any of the other sports. Really? Okay. So you expect to have that 50-player that 50 sport anytime soon? Yeah, it might take a couple semesters, a couple years, but more and more high schools are picking up um, esports as a team, as a club for their school. Mm -hmm. So more and more people are getting the experience of playing with the team. Video games are no longer just something you play at yeah. home in the basement in the living room by yourself. You now can make a team, go into tournaments. More and more high schools are providing that opportunity to other players and to uh, teenagers so that we can have a chance to give them a scholarship, give them an opportunity to play at college and get noticed here on Twitch. Yeah. Right, and the other thing I've seen with professional gamers is that they're not necessarily professional gamers that compete. Maybe, possibly, these VPC Barons will eventually go on to create their own YouTube channels where they could have millions of subscribers or they could work for places like Blizzard able to test out future games. Is that is that something that you can see with in the in the near world? Yes, a uh, job with esports is not just playing the game in a tournament. Right. You can be streaming, you can be playing, you can be designing, you can be technology for the tournament just to help prepare and set up the tournament. Right. Okay. All right. Oh, ooh, it looks like the enemy Hammond is able to push back our Lucio now. Hammond is actually a, a recent hero. The thing that separates a uh, video game from other sports and that is that the, the rules don't oh. just change, but what you're able to play in the game also changes. So what are some of the newer additions to Overwatch that you maybe disagree with or you fully support, such as new heroes like Hammond that have been playing, or for instance, the cars playing their most recent hero, Sigma. Yes, the biggest change with video games is that they can add a brand new person who has different movement speed, different uh, design, different attacks. Oh, yeah. We have to learn them as quickly as possible, adapt to them, know how to play as them so mm -hmm. that they're an option for us to use, but also how to defend oh. against them so that we can avoid dying to them and not being able to do anything. Right, right. It's about how quickly you are able to adapt. And that's the thing also that Overwatch proves is that they don't just adapt to new heroes being made, they always adapt to new situations, and they always adapt to new maps and everything. And I think that's really the core of Overwatch, not just working together, but also adapting together. Sig Art player Dark is able to be Sigma right now, able to be kind of that anchor tank, and push the enemy back to their spawn as BPC still holds on to that point. Now, this is a two out of three match, so potentially they could let the enemy take the point and at least this one. Oh, Lucio drops an ultimate, able to see how things go. Genji getting ready with the ultimate. I'm not sure if he's able to, uh, oh, Hammond swings up and crashes down, knocking back our Junkrat. So I've noticed that we tend to go with Junkrat a lot. So what advantages does Junkrat have over the other heroes? Um, his ultimate is one of the most damaging ultimates. Um, it can come out of nowhere, <clears throat> jump over a wall, turn a corner, explode, and kill three people all at once. Right. Now, we're able to see with Junkrat that he's also able to land down a mine and explode that mine and use that to jump. While other heroes are mobile naturally, such as, oh, the BPC Barons have gone into overtime, seeing what all they can do, getting the enemy off the point. There seems to be two of them currently on it. The, many of their heroes are in critical condition as our Lucio and Mercy are able to heal them. 
Jump Fist comes in, punches them, but Junkrat's able to take out another enemy player as the enemy Hammond in the ball smashes the Lucio, and it looks like the PPC Barons are actually not able to keep the point. What you just saw right there was an overtime. And what they were able to do during that overtime, the enemy team was able to push BPC off the point. So now what happens is BPC has to come back from the same position their enemies were in. But Lucio is able to make them speed up. And because of the mobility of our heroes, they're going to see us really soon. Junkrat with an epic mobility. So I was going to talk about this earlier with Junkrat. So... Most heroes, like Doomfist, like Genji, are naturally mobile in their area. But Junkrat, you actually have to make him mobile. So, I think the question is, how much skill do you have to have to do what our, our player... Look at that play with Doomfist, able to fly in the air, get on top of that building. So, but with Junkrat, you know, with that mobility, how difficult would you say this, it is to get good with Junkrat? He's one of the more harder uh, champions to master. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot more time practicing the, all the different abilities and all the different ways that they can be played. Right. It looks like the enemy has gotten the point to 50%, but BPC is on the point, able to contest it. It grows, it grows, it grows, and grows. The BPC is still contesting the point, not able to make it belong to the enemy. And Sigma is going in, hunting down their Hammond. Hammond is just rolling around in a ball. So what's your opinion on the Hammond? Because I've heard a lot of controversies with it. He's personally my favorite hero, but because of all that he's able to do, his mobility as a tank, the damage he's able to put out, a lot of people say he's overpowered. I wouldn't say overpowered. I say specialized, designed for special maps, where this is a great map for him to grab onto the building in the middle, circle right. around it, and then cause chaos. Right. So with the current uh, uh, team oh, setup man. that we have for BPC, oh, they're able to capture the point, and they're in overtime. Are they able to take it? Are they able to take it? Five on two, five on two, four on one, five on two again. Let's see if they're able. Mercy whips out a pistol, taking out who she needs to take out. Hammond is still there. As Hammond is hunted down, he's knocking Barons off the point. The entire Baron team has been on the point. The entire Baron team is back on the point. Only two other enemies on it. We're able to capture it. Overtime is over. And it's another victory for the Barons. I know. Things can get truly crazy. So the next question I have, is this a common team setup for uh, professional players? Yes, it is. This is, all right. Is there any specific uh, combo that this is called, I would say? Not, not really. I guess they'll call it the Baron combo. Winston, jumping around, seeing what all he sees. Looks like they've encountered the enemy team. Junkrat able to provide the damage that he needs to provide, using his mind, throwing it, and then exploding it. All right, Mercy, healing everybody that needs to be healed. As Zarya, able to pop it. It looks like we have a May on our team. What can May, what can May do to help our team out? May helps build that wall right there in the middle of the structure mm -hmm. that was very useful for the team. It kept the enemy team from pushing in, made them have to split up, make split second decisions. Okay. Allows more time for us to All right. make a plan. Right. There goes Mercy. Healing who she needs to heal. Winston getting ready. In the back, jumps in, takes out all those little squishy 200 hit point heroes as he's able to jump around, dealing as much damage as he needs to cause the Zarya able to use her large laser cannon to slowly break down the enemy team. Also using it as a tiny grenade launcher, dealing splash damage, meaning damage that doesn't just do damage when you hit you, but it, when it's near you, like a rocket launcher compared to a bullet. Looks like the enemy team has a rogue card, but May is still on the point, getting ready to build the wall, and she ends up blocking it, but she's put to sleep as Mercy 
revives a j our Junkrat. Junkrat is being able to do damage, being able to throw grenades over the wall, making sure that it's able to deal damage to the enemy team. Looks like everybody's in the air due to Lucio's ultimate. The question is, will May use her ultimate? She freezes herself in order to heal herself as well, making herself impenetrable. She does use her ultimate, freezing the enemy team as Junkrat takes them out with his rip tire. Things are going insane for the Barons right now. Winston's able to jump in, He's about to take out the squish. He's realizing he needs to heal, getting ready for the charge as, as extra damage is being given to him. He is literally on fire. Look at his character avatar by the 500 500. And that's unfortunately taken away, but look at what they're able to do. Dealing quick damage to the enemy as they stand right in front of the point, almost mocking them. But unfortunately, our Winston and our Junkrat are taken down. Mercy revives our Junkrat. Lucio able to still providing those critical heals on the point. May builds a wall. Looks like the enemy Reaper has come in. May is able to take out the enemy. Re Lucio is able to take out the enemy Reaper. They're still going for it. They're still going for it. Looks like, oh, Lucio is able to, what is called, boop away the uh, Roadhog. Now, Lucio has a special ability, so he doesn't only do, do a little nice. bit of damage. He doesn't only heal, but he also has this thing where in his gun where he can literally push the enemies away. How useful do you say that is? Oh, it's very useful. As you saw there, whenever he was grabbed at the Roadhog, he was able to punch, uh, push him out of the way so that he took less damage when the Roadhog tried to attack him. Okay. All right. We can see May freezing the Roadhog, using her ice her ice sickle, I'm going to call it for now, to heal herself, making sure you didn't take too much damage. It looks like the Reaper currently is their team's biggest problem. How good of a hero would you say Reaper is? Reaper is one of the most damaging. He's one of the ones who can just jump in, and when he uses his ultimate, it can be deadly for the whole right, team. Right, right, right. Now, if I'm correct, one of the other things that Reaper can do is he can go turn almost into a ghost and make so things literally phase through him, such as bullets and other things, correct? Yes. And he's also able to teleport, providing an incredible boost to the other team's damage. But it looks like the BPC Barons are back on the point! Winston able to take out any squishies. Looks like an ultimate has just been done by Lucio. They're able to use the Riptar to take out Mercy and Ana. It's insane. It's going down. May is needing to be healed, but they're able, they are able to get her. Roadheart ends up taking out... <coughs> Roadhog ends up taking out our Junkrat. Lucio able to do damage along with healing. Their Roadhog is down, their Sigma is down, their enemy tanks are now officially in the back. That's another victory for the Barons. I call a break in the stream and then pause it. All right. We're going to have a slight break in the stream for a moment. We will see you back very, very soon. Hey, uh, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. That's cool. Can you stop the recording and stream? Uh, I wasn't going to stop the recording. I was just going to stop the stream. We think the stream was stopped. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and stop the recording. That way when we upload it, we can upload it as its own video. Okay. As the screen.